Let's go. How did you make the correlation? Talk about a little bit more about the investive journalism uh, with um, uh, screenwriting. Oh yeah. So Ben Heck is an amazing screenwriter. Um, I believe he wrote Notorious, Uncredited for Gone with the Wind, and a bunch of other things. And he was a journalist in Chicago. Mm -hmm. And they called him up. Um, one of his buddies called him up from Hollywood. He's like, you need to get out here, here he because, is. yeah, that's him. You need to get out here and start start writing stuff. Like, they're taking shitty writing, and you're way better than that. So why don't you come out here and start writing? He's like, okay. Did you do any kind of writing prior to you going uh, back to school for writing? Oh, yeah. Um, so I also have a master's degree in creative writing. And I wrote a whole bunch of magazine articles. I interviewed what's mus creative musicians, writing musicians like poetry, fiction, nonfiction. Okay, any kind of creative writing. Any kind of creative writing. Do you have a specific? Oh, I don't like to admit, but I'm a poet. Poet. Yeah, I write poetry. Okay. Yeah. It's sexual and violent. Interesting. Yeah, not How what you would expect. No, but that's why I love this yeah, show. Yeah, no, right. To people. So I, I made my way through journalism into screenwriting. I think it made me, it definitely made me a better writer because it made me very conscientious about how are the action lines speaking to character. Going to creative writing, was there any uh, notion that you wanted to be a writer, going to school to be a writer? Oh, I've always been a writer. Okay. Um, since, so I this was, is... since I was four, hmm. I've always been a writer. I was published when I was like eight. So you were writing before you were reading or about the same time? Yeah, about the same time. Wow. Shitty poems, like what a four-year-old would rhyme house with mouse type of poetry, but that's what I would write. Did somebody navigate you when you were deciding in school or you already knew yourself? No, 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 I want to go write. Oh, I already knew. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's one of those things where people ask you, what, what do you do? How do you become what you become? And you're like, it's innate. It just, it is who it, I am. Yeah. I can't, I can't divide the self from what was it is that a, I do. Was there an aha moment for you, like a light bulb? Like, oh. No. no, it just always was. Any script writing throughout the creative process writing? Did you knew that there was a path to like, oh, I could write movies as well? Zero. 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 So who introduced you to, or how did you get introduced to like being able to write scripts? Um, right. Um, I don't think that anybody really introduced me to it. I just liked movies and knew that I was a good writer and that's what I wanted to do. So I just paired those two interests. Was it after you went to the school after the car accident mm -hmm. when you start doing investigative journalism? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say it's about that time. And it was, was the investigative journalism a driving kind of a direction to the type of movies that you'd like to write? And I would say yes. But not in a genre sense, but in a a, a character sense. Like when mm. you're when you're a journalist, you you study behavior. So I worked at the Innocence Institute, and I helped exonerate wrongfully convicted individuals. Mm -hmm. Now a person will come to the institute saying, "I'm in here under false pre like I'm innocent," and we would go, we would assume yes, you're innocent. But if you lie to me once, we throw your case out and we don't work it. So you got a really good sense of who this person is, and you could tell a liar. Mm -hmm. So I think that also had something to do with studying character and being a writer. I recently heard a uh, podcast. It was on Joe Rogan. I can't remember the two gentlemen. One of them owns like a lar or used to own or still owns a large record label. Mm -hmm. Is that the same organization? Oh, All know. they do is focusing on getting people off of death row, basically. Maybe. Wrongly convicted. And, oh boy, I learned. Yeah. That the justice system and there's a lot of lot of bad stuff yeah. in there. Yeah. We, um, we did one of our investigative pieces on a corrupt assistant district attorney. I won't name names because it's still, it's still ongoing. Yeah. But, and we can swear, but the shit this guy would do, he would pay off people. Um, there were literal stool pigeons. You think that's like a term from the 1940s in, in mafia movies? No, stool pigeons in prison. Um, he's a really shady guy. And I got to dig into his past. Like he mm -hmm. used to be, um, he used to be a lawyer at a military base. Mm. And it was because of him that they had to start locking their doors at night. 
because he would go into the other offices and and take evidence and their reports and bury it. Yeah. 